Hi, Jason here with Load Bearing Wall Pros. I would get, we get asked a lot of questions about steel beams and, and there's uh, some sort of, it seems like there's some mystery to steel beams and I just wanted to kind of clear some stuff up for you. So this is the pile of beams that are going out for this week's work, or some of them anyway. And the way the steel beams are named, the naming convention, so this is 10, the first number is 10, so you'll see a lot of times a W10, and that refers to the, the depth of the beam. So from this flange to this flange, this uh, beam is in the 10 inch family. And they're not all exactly 10 inches. There's some uh, variation to them as the beams get heavier. Sometimes they get a little deeper, but they're close. They're within a quarter inch of 10 inches thereabouts. Um, second number is the weight. So this weight beam weighs 22 pounds per linear foot. So you can see uh, right here, we have a length of 20 feet. So this beam weighs 440 pounds. And so you can see the pile of them. And here's the rest of them. We have a eight by 15, a 10 by 15, a 10 by 26. And these are some of the common beams that we use. So I wanted you to see that. And then I, we also get a lot of questions about, okay, so you put steel in my house. I know my house is primarily constructed of wood. How do I get it, turn it back from steel? And so here's what we get into right here is we're, we're, we're doing what's called packing the beam. And you can look down this beam and it's packed with OSB oriented strand boards, kind of like plywood that's a bunch of different chips. And then after we uh, put that packing in there, we come back and like this would be representative if we had an LVO that was intersecting the steel beam, it would look like that. And then right here you can see, like if we had ceiling joists and they would sit in these little stirrups that are called uh, joist hangers. So the joist hangers, and you can see that we have kind of several different flavors of joist hangers. Those are smaller ones. We have a bigger one for taller stuff. And then we have these huge ones. And these joist hangers are actually like a couple hundred bucks each. So they get pretty expensive because they're made out of really thick gauge steel. So anyway, there's that. Here's some more beams to look at. But a little bit about uh, steel beams and how we use them.